It's important to welcome wildlife into our gardens and we can play a key role in creating habitat for birds, animals and invertebrates in urban areas. I'm pretty relaxed about sharing a small amount of my crops with wildlife. It helps feed some threatened populations and encourages them into my garden for us to observe and enjoy. There's lots of fruit and nut trees in our garden. Apples, stone fruit, mulberries, almonds and more. Most years I'm happy to share around 20% of those crops with birds and though they tend to leave the harder stuff like apples alone, this year they've taken around 90% of my other fruit. I'm totally devastated. They've even taken the baby fruit of our four-year-old avocado tree. So I'm going to net it to protect next season's crops. It's really important that you use wildlife safe netting. Each of those holes are around five millimetres, so none of your fingers can fit through it. And when you do put it on the tree, you have to make sure it's nice and tight so nothing can get caught up in it. We don't use the older style of netting anymore because birds and wildlife can get caught in those larger holes. To build our frame, all you need is four star pickets and some 50 mil poly pipe. Place the pickets in a rough square so the netting will be well away from the foliage once the frame is up. Once the pickets are in firmly, slip the poly pipe over the top. Now, it's really important to get the right amount of poly pipe to clear your tree. A nifty trick is to get some high tensile fencing wire, stretch it out and over your tree between the pickets. Then you can lay it on the ground, measure it and order the correct amount of poly pipe. Before pulling the netting over, it's a good idea to secure the top of the frame. Another good tip is to use a, a shovel or a broom to lift the net over. And it's important to secure the net firmly at the base using bricks or boards. In our region, young avocado trees are pretty frost sensitive. So come winter time, I can actually leave this netting on or using the same frame, pop some additional cover on. And for really large trees, which are impractical to net, the best thing to do is to simply bag individual fruit. You can make fruit trees easier to net by a bit of strategic pruning in summer after harvesting. All I'm doing right now is taking a bit of height out of the tree. This will help keep the tree nice and compact and prevent excessive growth, making it really easy to pop a net over, compared to the more common winter pruning, which actually encourages growth. And if you just like less tree mass to manage, then you can always choose a dwarf or semi-dwarf cultivar. They're great for small pots or big gardens. They're easier to manage and easier to net. So much of gardening is about problem solving and being willing to share with your local wildlife a little bit. But when it comes down to it, actually getting some avocados is the aim of the game. So I'm feeling heaps happier about next season.